Okay, let's get started. Welcome everyone. Welcome everyone to Cramming with K. Louie. Let's cram. All right. So today we have um, the construct porter. Some people call it construct. Some people call it abomination. All right. We're doing these guys first. The order, even though it looks like Grabulus might be first, the order is Patchwork, then Grabulus, then Gluth, and then Thaddeus as the end boss. Um, all these fights are actually pretty interesting in their own way, except for maybe Grabulus, which is just kind of easy. But uh, pretty cool fight. So we're going to learn about... Uh, the, the way we do this is we go through the trash first. We learn all the trash really well, sometimes even specific pulls if we need to. And then once all the trash is done, then we learn all the boss's abilities first. Then we read the summary we have in the Discord. Then we read about any extra strategy stuff we, we need to figure out. Um, and then if people have questions along the way, feel free to type either in the chat, hop into Discord, um, and you, I, I'm in an open channel in Discord if you if anyone wants to voice chat. Um, feel free to hop in at, at any time. All right. So first, let's get started with the Construct Porter. Uh, this one. All right. So I have this trash guide up here. Okay, construct quarter. Ooh, prepare to see some beefy as hell. Bo oh, I like beefy boys. All right. These ads and bosses all hit hard. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Patchwork golems. The yeah, so so I've heard that the trash on between here and patchwork is can be some of the more uh complicated uh trash so Let's make sure we have this stuff down pretty good. Um, okay, so first we have the patchwork golems. Uh, there they are. I now I I'm gonna say this many times throughout the stream, but this is 25 man version. This is not the same as what we're gonna be encount encountering, but sometimes it is the same. And when it is, we can use that to to test stuff out. Um, so there's the patchwork golems. Let's read about what they do now. All right. Oh hey, fun. Welcome. Okay, uh, the, okay, so these Patrick Holmes have an AoE stun, cleave, and a disease cloud AoE damage attack, okay? It is, it, it, this, this guy claims it's worth tanks using a FAP on these packs. Uh, you'll want to take one head on, one head on at a time. Do not even attempt to cleave these, okay, so single pulls. Wow. Okay, so apparently these guys are really rough. Um, and then we have bile retchers with apparently with more patchwork golems. These retcher guys have they have a frontal AOE nature debuff. What what is the nature debuff gonna do? Maybe make them take more damage from patchwork gol. I don't know. We'll have to see what does nature damage here. And this says it's a disease cloud. Is that nature damage? Maybe it's something like that. All right. Hey, welcome. Welcome to the cram sesh. What's up, Broski? Uh, yeah. Out here, I'll link the doc that I'm using in chat if you wanna if you wanna see. This is like this has stuff on the bosses too, but I'm actually just using this guide for the trash. Um, I just linked it in chat if you wanna use it. Welcome, welcome everyone coming into voice chat. If you do come into voice chat, just make sure you mute my stream. Otherwise, you're going to get an echo. Um, okay. So first, we need to figure out how we're going to deal with the patchwork golems, right? So this says they have an AoE stun, cleave. Wait, so, so an AoE stun and a frontal cleave and a disease cloud AoE. Now, does the disease cloud come off of them or do they place it somewhere? We're going to have to go figure that out. Um, let's go run into a, mo a mob and see if these do anything. Uh, I have to body pull these usually because we killed them instantly. Oh, that's the bile retchers that we're going to be dealing with too. All right, so let's run into one golem. Oh, all, oh, right. All four came. I don't know if that's going to be the case in classic. These guys Ooh. might just be different. Okay. Um. 
Okay, so this is so in in this version, their disease cloud is just like a buff they have on them. So it basically just means if you're near them, you'll take the nature damage. Okay, so the nat so the nature debuff is probably uh, probably means you'll take or it, it can maybe be for this, but I'm not too worried about the nature debuff. Okay, there was the stun or a stun. Um, we also yeah they have their cleave. They have a or these ones have a war stomp. So people are saying all four at once. Oh yeah, all four at once. Okay, you have to split. So you may the... need to split them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Split them up so the stun and cleave don't wreck the melee. Okay. All right. Agreed. Okay. So so yeah, we'll um, we need to make sure these are always yeah always turned away, split up, and we'll uh yeah we'll just mark them one at a time. Okay. All right. Let's read about the bio retchers now. They're like the mini warm guards. Okay. Cool. Got it. All right, bio retchers, uh, and possibly some patchwork golems with them. Okay, the retchers have a frontal AOE nature debuff and a knockback. Okay, so we can basically face them away from the raid and get get against the wall. I would imagine kill the retchers first, then the golems. If you get both, is what this guide suggests. Um, we'll also and we'll also get sewage slime. These mobs keep respawning on a timer until Grobulus dies, the, the second boss. You just stack them up, cleave them down, and move on. Um, I don't know what the what the respawn timer is. If anyone remembers, let me know. Um, it might be like 30 seconds or something. Sludge Belchers. Okay, there's a lot of mobs we gotta learn here. Sludge Belchers give the tank a nature resistance debuff. Just kill them and be vigilant of your tanks. Okay. Then we have Embalming Slimes. They have a very high damage pulse, uh, but only only a point blank melee. They will they also will pick one random raid member and permanently <laughs> aggro to them. Okay, so everyone has to understand what's happening here with the embalming slimes. You want to try to clump tightly as a raid and kite these mobs. Use AoE from a safe distance. They will also be respawning like the sewage slimes. Okay, so yeah, so you don't so nobody wants to be near them because they have their damage pulse. Um but like who, who someone random is going to get aggro on them and they're going to have to be the ones that control them. Um honestly, all this slime, this slime stuff is probably just going to die like really easily. I I think these things have have low hit points and I'm not too worried about them. Um all right, next you will then okay, mad the mad scientist room. Okay. Let's go back and you go forward here. So yeah, we have that. We have the first poll where we have to deal with those four guys at once. There's a bio retcher. I'm gonna go run into him and see what. Uh, I think this might just be a maybe a single path. Yeah. Now I I don't know if these spawns are are what it was like um, in classic. So we'll just have to deal with it. But this is packs of golems and bio retchers. So that that's probably a three pack right there. Yeah. Um, another three pack a roamer with uh, another four pack at the end okay so no big deal and then these are the slimes uh these are the embalming ones is what did the guide say those were the embalming oh these are the ones that have that follow you and stuff and then there's also the the sewage slimes i don't know if we have the the sewage slimes in our version we just have this room of embalming slimes. Let's go make them mad and see what they do. So yeah, they move they move slowly, so they're gonna be easily kiteable by whoever has aggro, right? And and the guide suggested moving as as a raid. Basically what that means is everyone is gonna be following whoever whoever is uh um being like targeted by the slimes. But if it's this many slimes though, then that means like 10 people are gonna be targeted, so we're all just gonna be moving like this as we range aoe stuff down um if if there is an extra uh bio retcher or whatever we'll probably want to pull this first i would think welcome new people coming in yeah so we just yeah we just try to um yeah yeah they have this they have so they do have a, an attack but they have this embalming cloud the nature damage aoe that's the thing that that the raid is going to want to avoid all right Let's move on. 
Okay, so this is the mad scientist room. This is where Patchwork is. If you go down here and just take a little peek to the right, you can see him. Oh, well, actually he roams here, doesn't he? Yeah, he roams up and down this hallway. We're going to be fighting him around right here. All right, so let's check out the trash before Patchwork. I know this, this trash segment is probably going to be the longest one of the day. It's because there's a lot of new mobs to learn, and it's the beginning of the wing. So bear with me. We'll get through the trash part. Uh, okay, trash. All right. The mat. Okay, every pack in this in this room has to die since uh, patchwork will aggro all the mobs. Okay. So we have living monstrosities. They hit for about a 1k. But they also do an AoE fear and a chain lightning and a lightning totem. Uh, what i what does the lightning totem do is it is that single target is that chain lightning is that an aoe i'm not sure don't let the totem stay up safe to say kill these guys first okay so apparent living mon totems, okay. yeah living monstrosities seem to be really rough uh so i guess we'll you'll target this first all right we also have mad scientists in here i they they heal the monstrosities so we have to cc them before we kill the living monstrosities We'll also get to them second. And then third, we have these surgical assistants. Um, they have a chain mind flay. Okay, a mind flay that chains the other people. Ugh. Okay, chain mind flay that chains the three people. And we make sure to keep these guys CC too. So we'll have to take a look at the size of the packs. Let's see what this last part is. It may be helpful to start pulls with all range, sending their strongest attack on monstrosity all together, and then having a tank challenging shout. With probably one of the worst trash mobs that go through in the instance we were at. Okay, yeah. So so apparently these trash mobs are are rough. And and with this guide even suggesting everyone like like you do a countdown, right? And everyone release their spell on zero. Um, I don't know if we'll quite need to do that. We um this is just gonna be a thing where we say, you know, pop your pop your cooldowns, kill the monstrosities, um, CC everything that's not a monstrosity. Then kill the scientists, then kill the, the surgical assistants. Let's see what it looks like in here. I don't know what the 25-man version is like. We have more sludge belchers and golems in here. And then, oh, there's there's a pack down there. All right, let's see what we got here. So there's the monstrosity. It's just one in the pack. And then a whole bunch of mad scientists and surgical assistants. So if we have this many in the pack in, in, re, or in, in classic, I don't know if we're gonna be able to cc every single one of these guys but they also might not have a ton of hit points either we'll we'll just have to see um yeah this is something where i i think we'll know more once we're actually in there and see what what the packs look like but either way the big thing to remember from this is that we want to kill the living monstrosities first oh i should let a pack attack me for a minute and see let's just see what they do so that's like another four pack of golems, a couple of uh, a couple of roamers. Oh, yeah. Okay. So there's the chain mind play. There's the chain lightning. I want to see the chain or the lightning totem. Looks like there's a mana burn on these guys. There's a lightning totem. It casts shock. What is what is that like an AOE? Hey, thank you, Shenanigans, for the Prime, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, shock. Okay, that probably does a bunch of damage. So, Lightning Totems, then Monstrosities, then Scientists, then Assistants. Okay. Is that everything? Have we done it? Can we finally get to Patchwork? And you have to kill all these guys. Yes, we have yeah. to. We have to clear this whole room here. Um, you'll know you're done when you see these slimes. Uh, we call this part Frogger. We'll talk about this after Patchwork. Oh yeah, Frogger. <laughs> all right. Uh, so Patchwork himself. If you look at the map, he roams all the way up here. Okay, but if you look at where where we actually are, we're fighting him just kind of in the entrance here before all those slimes. A good distance before the slimes actually. Probably like more like over here. Okay, let's talk about patchwork. Patchwork is the the sort of like like de facto like 
uh, DPS, um, what like DPS uh, dummy target that every like where DPS usually can just stand and go ham, right? It's it's the fight that they don't have to move and uh, yo Miso, yeah it's a, yeah they uh, D DPS can just go crazy on this fight they, uh, as long as threat is good. But for tanks and healers, this fight can actually be kind of tricky. So we, uh, everyone wants, we want to make sure that that the tanks and the melee DPS as well understand what's going on with the hateful strike, so that we can manage our threat appropriately. So first up, let's go over his abilities. I have here uh, patchwork. All right. Oh. Oh, I gotta make sure I'm on the forty man versions of these. Okay, well, I'll do that in a second, it's fine. All right, patchwork. Okay. Akbar! Yes! Yes, Akbar's here. Okay. All right, Akbar. We, uh... Oh, we do have an emote. Wait, where did it go? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. That's not what it is. It's K-Louis Agony. It's K-Louis Agony. Yeah! Oh, you want K-Gasm? <laughs> Okay, welcome everyone coming in. Um, so that is Kgasm. Um, if if you've just come in, you haven't missed any boss bosses at all. We are uh we just covered the trash between um here and Patchwork. Agbar, I did have a question. Um, so these okay. guys, these guys, these living monstrosities. Apparently, yep. these guys are are tough, and you they, and you wanna uh, yes. yeah, and and so um the trash guy I read suggested just see seeing all these scientists and assistants and just going and just trying to kill the monstrosity as fast as possible. Is, is that what you remember? No, we just off tanked them off to the side and then just AOE the scientists and everything. Oh, so, Oh, instead of, instead of CC, you just AOE them down. Okay. We just gr grouped them up and killed them. Sounds good. I mean, they, the scientists I think have like, uh, they have some sort of poison or something that they do. Um, I don't remember exactly what it is. Okay. But, uh... Yeah, um... It, am I actually in your instance? Oh, yeah. Let's see. I doubt it. Are, well, well, you... Ch trash up. Ch ch check and see if the lights for the first two wings are cleared. How did how did we fix this last time? We both zoned out. Alright. I'll zone out real quick. Alright, guys. Yeah, dip, yeah, stand by for a couple minutes and then we'll we'll get started on patchwork. Oh well, well, some of, some of this stuff does respawn, right? Like like the slimes did respawn, but none of no, none like of the all the trash at the front of Patrick. Oh right? yeah, none uh, of the none of the uh, abomination guys or, or monstrosities. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll zone out too. Here I come. The, the everything's lit, but yeah, all the patchwork golds are up. Okay. Stand by. <laughs> all right so yeah that that trash segment was pretty long we were talking about trash for about 15 minutes but it's it's just a lot of mobs um and remember the 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 beginning of a wing will the trash part will always be a little bit more because they they reuse trash later later in wings that we don't have to talk about. All right, Agbar, are you here with me? I zoned out and back in. Oh wait, my trash is back up now. Nice, that's perfect. Then 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 um then like we can just do it real quick with you. All right. So yeah, all all four of these guys come at once. I I guess Agbar. So we want to put a tank on each one, um, but also split them up because they have a point blank AE that'll wreck the melee. So we have to make sure that like they're all kind of split up somewhat. Um, but besides that, it should be easy. And then we if have. If I remember right, the the AE is a frontal. Yeah, the, the so same thing. Sort of stack them like back to back. With the with the these wretchers have the frontal AE, I think. And these golems have that disease cloud. If you look at the buff on them, that uh, that um, yeah, that does damage around them. Yeah, that's like yeah, a melee AOE. 
Another four pack down there. This is the giant slime room. These guys yeah. move really slowly. You just kite them. Yep, kite and AOE them. Kite and kill, and they uh, these apparently these respawn or these will respawn quickly until we kill Grobulus. Yeah, uh, and if you miss the jump, you have to run back through here. Oh right, the jump. You guys are gonna get to see the jump later. All right. So I don't know if this trash layout is is what it's gonna be like in uh in classic. It's pretty close. So what I remember doing is basically pulling because I tanked the monstrosities, I believe. Okay. So I just tanked them off to the side. And then, like, we can have Dakiel tank the, all these, like, the assistants, grab up as many assistants and stuff like that. Okay, so the, uh, so this looks like this is as far as Patchwork comes down, yep. maybe? Correct. So yep. And he we, patrols back, all the way back to Grobulus's room. Right, so we'll we'll pull him to basically, like, maybe where I am right here, um, but on the yeah, other... Somewhere, somewhere near the slime. Doesn't right, exactly Just, where. Some, somewhere right here. Did, it, did we, do you remember if we fought him, like, over here, or did we pull him across this... No. Pull him across. Does it, does There's the slime... no reason for us to get across. Oh, the slime does do damage. Yeah, so yeah. The slime is pull different him back. classic and retail. They're very different. Oh, okay. Mechanics. So we... On we'll... retail, on, on classic, what it does is it reduces your maximum health to, like, 75%. Um, and then when you step back out, your max health goes back up. It does oh, do damage God. over time. Okay. But the reason that that's important is because melee could step into it, reduce their max health, and step right back out, and all of a sudden they're not at max health, which means they won't get hateful. Ah. Uh, so melee can use that to their advantage. Interesting. Okay. Well, speaking of that, then let's start going over the abilities. So, uh, so what Agbar just all said makes more them. sense. Yeah. Right. Patchwork original. All right. This guy is Kelpizod's avatar of war. Oh, that's cool. All right. Okay, so he's got the hateful strike. All right, the base the base damage of this is twenty two to twenty nine thousand physical damage, but you can mitigate a lot of it through armor. Um, so if you have a lot of armor, the actual average hit according to Wow Wiki is about eight thousand, which is still was still a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. Warrior on a druid, it's less. Oh, because they have extra armor. They have armor. Oh, uh, druids are armor man, druids are awesome. All right. Uh, okay, this ability will hit the main tank if uh, if the hateful strike tanks are not properly healed. The ability with this ability will hit the character with the highest health in melee range. That's not true anymore. That's there not been right. More information right. Come we've out we've been that right. That new info. Yeah, new information just came out. Wait, isn't it? Um, doesn't it take it from the top four or something? The top four. Yeah. So it takes the highest health person from the top four people, uh, on threat, and that's the person that's gonna get the hateful strike. So we um. So I are we gonna have Dakiel take the strikes then? Is that the idea? We're gonna have we're gonna have Dakiel and Oprimo take the strikes. Because Dakiel they have the they, because they have the most mitigation and most health of our three tanks. Okay. And, so and JD will and be JD the primary will, JD will take himself the primary hits. Okay. And Dakiel and Oprimo will take the Ma gateful. That makes sense maybe, to me. Maybe maybe me as well. We'll see. That's why I've been putting together a mitigation set. Um, if okay. we need four, I'll be the fourth. Okay. Yeah, he, he his normal hits aren't that bad. Um, so yeah, and then he has the berserk after seven minutes. But if we can't if we can't get through his three point eight million hit points in seven minutes, then we the got other, bigger problems. The other part is at 20 percent, he enrages. Yeah, the, this this Wow Wiki article claims it five percent. Which, if that's true, that's I, it, I don't think it's five. I don't know if I've ever heard of a I'm five percent sure rage. 20. Okay, yeah, let's let's assume it'll probably happen higher, at like twenty. Um, this this uh, suggests uh, a good time to use your shield wall. Um, but the problem is but... if we do this in order, if like this is after Maxna, you're gonna use shield wall. We've on already Mexna. shield wall on Maxna, so... right? <laughs> you're not gonna have it again. Okay, then. 
all right so um so yeah really patchwork is uh that this is the one ability right the the hateful strife and how we deal with it so this is another healer check a lot like lotha yeah. that's what this fight is yep pretty much um let's uh, pull up the uh, our write-up real quick to make sure i didn't miss anything make sure uh, to pull up your stream so i can see what you're looking at um, I'm just going between my my POV and game, yeah. and then um, uh, the the Nax trash guide and WoW Wiki articles, and and then other maps or whatever if I need to do yeah. that. Okay, Abomination Wing. All right. So patchwork. Um, the set. The it says he enrages at two hundred thousand remaining health. So whatever that is. <laughs> okay. Um. I mean okay. that's like five percent. That's fair. Oh. Because he is almost four. Yeah, million. maybe it is like oh dang, okay. Um so the the tank section is what we just talked about and and the whole hateful strike part. So the whole raid needs to know or at, or at least the DPS need to all need to really understand hateful strike and need to know that they cannot be in that top 4. And that, that's uh, you're okay to be in the top 4, you can't have the most health. Like that's the big part. You can't be oh, one. Obviously. Right. Yeah, but right. You can't have like Dakiel and JD or in Oprimo need to be in the top four. Right. No so what. so if you start passing them, you need to yeah, you need to cool yeah. off. I guess it's probably a better And okay. then and then heals, the big part is you can only really heal your tent your assignment. Because if you heal somebody who isn't your assignment and they are in the top four, they're probably gonna get one shot. Oh, oh, right. Okay. Um, and how how often do these hateful strikes go off? Do we know? 1.2 seconds. Ev every 1.2 seconds is when one right. of these bad boys gets, so gets flung off on someone. In, in theory, Holy. it's okay. hitting each tank every 3.6 seconds because it'll alternate tanks. Right. And so that's where you basically need to top off your tank every 3.6 so, seconds. So healing assignments will probably put like a couple on JD, and then Split well, everyone else between and, yeah, the and, and, and Dakiel, right? Is I think that's the right way to go about it. Yep. Yeah. And you you basically do the same thing you would sort of do for Lothab, where it's a chain where someone starts a big heal. Oh then yeah, have yeah. A second right. Later, someone else starts a new I, big heal. Have a second, I, and then you I just think stay in that order. I think really, I think really, what's going to happen? is well like since it is every 1.2 seconds like it's gonna be so quick that learning this fight is gonna be about like just immediately getting on that like like healing your off tank immediately right getting all that uh does it is do you know if there's any leeway before he's like five seconds or something before he starts hateful striking nope. or is, is it immediate, it's immediate. <laughs> oh yeah we're getting so this a, is, we're getting a classic experience baby this okay. is this is the fight where i think what i'm gonna do for dps is I'm going to tell DPS to not go in for the first either maybe even the first attempt because this is not a DPS. Oh right? yeah, and just this and just let a, the let the healers okay, the, the, the yeah. healers need to keep those three people alive. Yep. Once uh, and even once we have it down, the DPS are not going to start in because I don't right. want them to get one shot. Right. Once they all have a uh, um yeah, once the healers like it, it's I say I use this term a lot but like it, like healers need to get a feel for the damage and 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 yes. that's and like Maybe I can explain it better, but like once you know it well, like you can kind of you just you almost know like what's gonna happen before they take damage, like like on twin M's and stuff. Like you just you just you can kind of feel it a little bit better, and uh, and and that just comes with a few attempts. So um, don't I wouldn't be surprised if yeah the, this is a boss where like we just immediately get murdered on a couple of times until we can get the the hateful strikes under control. But once once we do, this fight becomes really easy and consistent. Yes. Um. Th this is the fight where, like, yeah, like like I was talking about before, people use it as like a, a personal DPS benchmark, um, because it's it's kind of the same every week for uh, and um, uh, and they, you don't have to move much. So, okay, that's patchwork. So, um, he's actually a little bit harder than the next boss. That will go into a lot next. harder than the next boss. Yeah, the next yeah, boss pretty easy. much. Yeah, we get. I think we pretty much get some free loot after this. Um, but uh, is very easy. Gluff is not. Yeah. Okay, so we have we've covered all the trash up to 
um, up to patchwork and patchwork. All right. So between each boss, I'm gonna do a four minute break. Well, and... let's let's do patchwork still. Oh, oh, in game. Oh, in oh, stadium. yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right. You are. How fast the pat the thing goes? Yeah. Who has more health? You or me? I have seventeen thousand. Okay, so I will see if I can aggro him, and then you will should take the hatefuls. All right, we'll do. And and we can just melee him if we need if we need I to get that. I can't melee him because my imps will kill him. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I'll melee him. All right, here he comes. So, uh, yeah, the slimes. Yeah, we call that Frogger. We'll we'll talk. That'll be the first part. Frogger of the, uh, is like a is the trash for the next boss. Yeah, that that'll be the the first segment of the of the next part. Okay, so yeah, Patrick gets here. Um, someone we'll shoot him and pull so, him across, someone shoots him and pulls him to basically where I am. Oh, he dazed me immediately. Oh boy, here he comes. 1.2 seconds. You've got to be kidding me. All right. Okay. I'm going to punch him once. Uh. You're going to have threat immediately because I can't hit him. But that's oh. Fine. Well, can I, will I get a hateful still? Wait, or let me go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm taking hatefuls. I'm taking hatefuls every one second or 1. 1.2. They're hitting me for like 35, which is actually a lot after the crunch. Like, I'm actually visibly taking damage, which has never happened in this zone. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> wow crazy. okay yeah so you can see these hateful strikes ticking in every second or i guess it's 1.2 seconds that's the pace that's the pace and i'm yep. i'm also taking them as well you you're taking them too oh no i'm just taking the melees oh okay i was gonna say what the heck okay all right so there you go so um i don't know if this version will enrage i can maybe i can melee him down i don't know if i can melee him that precisely let's see Ooh, one more. It's pretty close. You're pushing him. <laughs> uh, one, more, one more hit. Uh, oh. All right. Patchwork right. down. Look at this great, cool stuff that... Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. All right, guys. Four-minute break. Um, I'm just... I'm going to play this two minute long copyright free song twice and then when it's over uh <laughs> i don't want twitch to mute my vod i need this and then when that's over we'll uh we will be back with robulus